Trouble like the narco. Got no like Pablo. Got no like Pablo. Cut the with the Draco. Well, might as well do a vlog. Going into that third shift live. I got like five minutes to clock in. Clock in at 10.45. Get off at 7. But uh, I guess I'll show y'all why I haven't been uploading so much because a lot has changed. But we got two new vehicles at the crib and we got some work to do. And we got some lots of other things to do before IFO. Bitch, you better not fucking go in front of me. Oh shit. Dang, he got that spot. Oh, you bastard. Alright. So I'm gonna find another spot. Park by this. To the speed over here. Taking a daily, took the maximum of work. But, uh, yeah, I ain't gonna be recording in here because I'm not allowed to. But I'll see y'all whenever I'm done with my shift. Finally finished my shift, and now it's pouring. Damn. Guess I might make a video during the rainy, rainy day, but depends if my garage gets wet or not. Maybe I'll pick up the camera tomorrow. We'll see. So, this is the two new cars we got. We got a 3000 GT VR4. Hell yeah. And got this new Highlander. So we need a family car. No, I'm not having fucking kids. Um, basically, just need something to go travel out of town if I ever get parts or something, find good deals. This would be a good one. So if I ever find a supercharger going down to Texas, I could grab this one. I got a DVD player, has all the uh, headsets and stuff for it too. They change up the gauge and stuff. I'll show more later whenever we go on the trip and stuff. Just gonna be doing some work to it. Probably won't have it for too long, but it is pretty cool. Yeah, so what I did so far is the antenna delete and I fixed the fuel pump issue because it was turning on because the ground was, uh, was it? The ground was touching something else. It was like loose connection, so it was trying to drain in the battery. But now it'll just start up and go. Uh, put this cover on just for temporary. Uh, and I also fixed this shifter linkage bushing. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll try to say, explain it more. But the interior on this has been redone. Pretty fucking mint. All the way around. The, from the floor, carpets to the seats and all. <laughs> Pretty much spotless. Move this back. There we go. Oh, this should be a handle right here. There we go. Hell yeah. So, the only two things I got to fix left. I was changing the brakes and PTU solenoid, I believe. I don't know if this is on the uh, VR4s or not. but or I can't find a sensor for it yet, but I know I saw it on the 3000. It shows the, uh, it's for the RPM gauge and the speedometer. And that's the only two that's not working. Um, the fuel pump, I probably will need to pull it out and check on the float. But I just checked on the ground part that was loose for the... For the pump, because when I turn off the car, I can still hear it kind of like going on and off randomly. But that's the only thing left the PTU, and that's it. I fixed the uh shifter linkage on this. The it wasn't it, okay, it was supposed to be a bushing, but there's no bushing. Some dude put like a plastic like washer, I guess, just to hold it on. But I did add another washer trick. Uh, there's a washer trick I saw on YouTube. I put it on, so now it's a I mean, it's it was a lot worse than this. It was like one gear and it was like like that. Going to gear a lot smoother now, so. Boom, boom, boom. Five speed and reverse. But this car did come with a uh, stage three clutch and a aftermarket radio. And what else? Uh, that's it really, just interior done and stage three clutch. And oh yeah, and the blow off valve. 
Um, after I do change the brakes, because it does need it, we will go for a uh, drive. I'll probably start it after we come back from eating. Doing the brakes now. <sighs> okay. Damn, it's like... Okay. Yeah. The mom just pulled up. He's going to help us do the brakes. <laughs> Spectating. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That yeah, looks so much lighter than mine. Uh -huh. These are really light. Hell yeah. And now we have to take off the... Oh, there's no spacers on over here. Okay. Cool. we we'll just get to it. Yeah. It's a big ass 25 millimeter spacer. Box, I'm talking about... Ugh. So, to get the thing off, we had to order or rent out a tool. It looks like a claw. And I got it off. And now the brand new one's on there. Oh. Bunch of butts. Yeah, so just got done with it. Got these rusty bolts off. One right there, one down there. It's the same, like it's a Z. It has the pin on the side, clip on the back to hold the uh, pins in. Got the brake pads in. Pretty easy. It was a bitch to get off, so we had to use. We, I meant me, had to use the um, jaw pullers. And I think this is a seven ton, low WD-40, and it didn't work out. So now I'm about to move to the rear. Keep forgetting to record, but no big deal. Oh, and it is the next day because went to the barbecue last night. Forgot to record, but good time. Shout out to Sebastian for inviting me. That was fun. Man, oh man, it looks good. Yeah, I gotta use spacers to put on the wheel. Whoops, gotta flip the camera again. All right, my little helper helped me. You finally got the new brake pads on and the rudders on. Don't forget when you put the sliding in the back one on, don't forget to uh, lower the handbrake down. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I got it off. Now I gotta put the tire on, torque everything, and. Go on a test drive. Yep. So now we're finally driving the car. Uh, we had a little hiccup. The bracket on the car, the OEM one for the older one seems to be wider, but the uh, new hardware, I had to trim it, but it still was rubbing, so I was making like a screeching noise. Obviously, that would be like a worn brake pad, so. But uh, yeah, so my battle don't work, so I'm using this right now. Sometimes it works, but everything else works. 